Hello. Hi, I am Patricia McNeely. I am a Blu-ray twin flame from Chicago, Illinois, and I am a Rod and Staff Union. The Rod and Staff Union people are the teachers. We are the teachers of the new light body. That is part of what I am tasked with here and why I am presenting. Why I was pushed real hard to start getting out there and start presenting. So today the subject is real love. Because that's ultimately what this is about. This is your love story. And things are getting a bit confusing out there. Why? Well, it has a lot to do with mental, emotional connections to different timelines and groups of people and points of origin, uh, cultural influences, all kinds of things. And we need to bring back the focus to why did you initially feel something to begin with? Or why did you dream it? Because of love. It's so that you can be in love and have that in love feeling all the time. Now, I'm going to take a little change of direction here from a lot of what's being said out there, which is the feminine. Okay, the divine feminine. Divine feminine. And a lot of people are very much, even though you felt love and even though you know you're the love and you can say it, this energy has a lot to do with not being taken, not being stolen or having your love stolen from you or taken for granted, being unappreciated, undervalued or not enough attention. Much of this has originated through difficulties caused by other angelic tribes, okay? What does that mean? That means that you're still working on your cosmic heart connections and clearing things out. You're clearing parts of your emotional body. You're clearing out some of your uh, chakras from being blocked. And some of it is a passive thing, but I'm here to tell you this has to become much more proactive, and it's, a, it's not something that's done with your mind. It is your twin flame, shared subtle bodies, transcend you through your open channels. It's about getting to connect with your subtle bodies, getting your channels opened. That is how you reciprocate the love with your twin. This is going to be about harmony and balance with each other, not with the rest of the world. You can get along with the rest of the world, but what good is that if you can't find harmony and balance with each other, okay? And yes, getting along with the world is still a part of it. That's the paradox. It's not you two against the world. It's you two living in the world and not letting it touch you or throw you off or affect you or what people call interference energies or false energies. Now, this is also a very huge time for things to unravel and get away from you. But this is a lot of people left looking and saying, what just happened to that? What happened? What happened? Okay. What happened is that nothing is lost. It's inside you. So there is a deepening to this part of the process. And I care very much to see people in love with their twin. Now, some of the things that you see in the world may or may not be exactly the way it truly is. However, focusing on you and your own reunion, your physical union, which comes as the result of your metaphysical union. That is your twin flame shared subtle bodies, okay? This is how you find the transcendence. What does transcendence mean? It means rising above. Now, this is something that you'll continually have to do, and learning how to do that is actually not really out there. I have it in my classes and webinars where I teach people, you're not doing this with the mind. You're also not doing it with just one part. 
you have to incorporate several parts of yourself to really achieve effective results. So as I've spoken about in my previous two webinars, there are also other aspects that include wellness. That means the health of your body. It's your financial wellness. What is happening with some of this? People are having troubles at work. People are having trouble being creative. People are not knowing what they should do. People are being exhorted to go on your mission. Okay. And while it very much feels like a mission, that sometimes is putting the cart before the horse. That's another paradox. How can you have the mission if you don't have the love to support you so that you are appreciated, that you have enough of the proper attention so that you have harmony and balance? How do you find the right balance of work and play? How, as you're coming in for a landing here with each other, out of the cosmos, do you manage to do this? Okay, that's personal, which means it has to come through you because that is the information fed to you by your higher self through your subtle bodies. If you're not tuning in or you're following all the rest of the pack, how can you make it specific for what you and your twin flame does need? And these are not needy needs, okay? Some people are becoming aware of things and saying, I don't want to put up with that. I don't want to put up with that. Good. You can find your anger. But then how do you process that anger and not say angry at the person who you might want to blame for that? Because there's no more blame. We're not doing that anymore. That is difficulties caused by other angelics. Blame, shame, guilt, judgment, opinions, uh, and worse and worse and worse and worse. Okay. There has been a split in the timelines two years ago, again last year, and you're completely in a new space. Okay. And it's new which means it's throwing people off and little by little, all of your previous go-to things will probably feel ineffective for the capacity of love that you're really able to hold. Who you really need to hold is it has to be the connection with your twin flame. Now, when people feel that this is elusive, you're already connected. It's just deep inside. How do you open and expand? It is through the subtle body channels. Okay? It's not through it's not through other ways. Someone can't wave a magic wand. In fact, you're the only one who has the magic wand for that. You're the only one that will get the input for what is needed. Let me plug this in. You can hear me properly. Hopefully now you can hear me better. So, in order to do this, okay, I want to remind you you're here to be lovers. Lovers who have a mission. Lover whose mission pays for the proper life that should support you handsomely. You're not here living as starving artist or living in a hovel for the sake of love. And some of you have other relationships that need to break down so that you can really be who you came to be here. Sometimes that involves children. It's a delicate matter. There's responsibilities that your heart absolutely wants to be able to do the right thing and have this be win, win, win for everyone. How do you do this and how do you get the solutions into place? It's through your body. It's not through the mind. The ego mind is insufficient to create the life that you want. Yes, you can wish. And yes, you can have the things you want. So when people say things like, you know, you're master, it's in you. Everything you need is in you. Yes, but you got to pull it out. It's like someone giving you a backpack, you know, where they say, hey, you came to planet Earth we said all these survival things here in your backpack, but what if you never open it? What if you're just going, oh, what was that noise? Oh my God, huh? There's a thing, oh, something bumped me, something touched me. Instead of getting out, getting your bug repellent, getting a, a knife, getting a set of matches, what if it was like that? 
And some people are, are, are like that. They're, they're just bumping along here, okay? Nobody wants to drag you behind someone else's pickup truck. That's not who you are. You're an angel. You're a human angel. Not only that, you are here to be one of the newest evolutions that has existed. This has been a process that has taken a longer time than you may realize because some of you say, it's been two years. It's been four years. It's actually been a, a little bit longer time than that, probably several lives in order to cycle in at this point. There are things that you need to know about your joy, your vitality, your youth, your passion. How do you retard the aging process? So a lot of the things that we think about where we say, how are we going to be healthy? What if I get what gram grandpa had? What if I get what grandma had? What about my long line of ancestors? Or what if you're adopted and you don't even know and you say, I don't know what I'm going to get in my old age. What's going to afflict me? I don't know how to keep my youthfulness. How do I keep my vitality? Now, grant you, there are people that are very ill and have injuries or have their mobility affected. But if you have some things that are currently affecting you, such as you need to clear your eyes and your timeline. I have a class for that coming up called Divine Feminine Lovers because being the love means that you're able to help balance this. The masculine is in you. If you join my Divine Masculine in Transition webinar, you'll know how and where the masculine is there. While the masculine can be a man, and mind you, the predominant energy on this planet has been electric masculine. That means that things have been driven by what men or male people have decided. And this is not to slander anyone. We have to get away from all of that. We have to understand that every, you know, everybody has to work together in harmony. That means that if you're connected and even if you are two men, you find yourself subject to the same dynamics. One wants this, one wants that, one feels more dominant, one feels maybe uh, not so dominant or you feel like you get steamrolled all the time. You might feel that you're taken for granted, unappreciated. It happens to male-female relationships. Each side has that. You know, sometimes males, because of the way that they're socialized, they shove it somewhere. Okay, the body doesn't want to hold all those dissatisfactions and the, you know, taken for granted where men can say, how did I just turn into the guy that pays the bills? Where's my passion? Should he go out and look for it? Where do you start? You start with your own heart because you're wired up for love, okay? The wires need the energy to run through your circuits. That's your channels, okay? The shared subtle bodies that you have that help you transcend this and have all of the delightful experiences that set you on this journey. Are you on a twin flame journey? How do you know? Well, you know if your body starts feeling like it's going haywire, where you feel like you have breakdowns, a lot of people are coming into a real slow time of exhaustion, a real time of a slump in their creativity. They can feel it, but it's not formulating. A lot of people will find that they're stuck with some aches and pains and just generally sluggish, tired uh, energy. How do you spark that up again? How do we really get these things going to the level where it enables you to feel joy, vitality, youthful, passion. Okay, the main thing is the passion. Real love means there's passion on a daily basis. And it's not just passion that you funnel or divert or sublimate yourself into your work. It's passion for each other. Okay, and it's not one-sided. So as things unravel, okay, and I did a video called Release of Soulmates not too long ago, although it was a little ways back. So if you're just finding this, look for that one, Release of Soulmates. If you want to go deeper and higher, if you want to get yourselves up where you belong, 
Love lifts you up where you belong. Okay? This in the words of that those song lyrics, this love will make you levitate. It really does. How do you get there? Okay, how do you feel like you're in the clouds when you're in love? Okay, you know that first in love feeling where you're like, woo, yeah, nothing really bothers you. Okay, or if you got married, how was your wedding day? Was it just like you were queen for a day or king for a day? Okay, some cultures celebrate that. They parade you around and you're king and queen for the day. How would you like that feeling all the time? How do you get it? Because now you've got to muster it up. It's not going to be by calling in Archangel so-and-so. They're there with some information. Okay? You have to learn about your own brand new body that you're fitting together. You have to learn how to balance your new life. A lot of you have wanted this. You've said, I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish for a new life. I wish I could be with that person all the time. Well, your wishes are coming true, but now comes the responsible part, being responsive, okay? Not reactive, responsive. So to help you with that, I have one which, even though it's called Divine Feminine Lovers, men are welcome. If you want to know about women, if you want to know about some of the things that your female twin might go through, because I talk about both men and women in here. Men and women, gay, straight, lesbian, hetero, LGBTQ, however you identify. If you have felt the twin flame love, come and join because you will learn things. We are going that some of the topics I start part one, August 17th and August or August 19th. This is a Friday evening in Chicago or a Sunday morning. This should make it accessible to whatever time zone you're in. If you can't make it, I will provide you with the recording, but you can join live. The topics will include sacred sexual. What is sacred sexual? Well, first of all, it's not limited. And a lot of people find that their sexiness starts to go, you know, it gets smaller and smaller and smaller, and then it's relegated to this, and it's once a year, and it's with this way, and it has to be just, you know, this way, and you need all these accoutrements. That's not sacred, okay? What is sacred? That's where you're saying, oh, it's passionate, all right? Now, I got to keep this family friendly because YouTube's put some new stuff into place. So we want this to be, you know, above board the way that something befits real lovers, that it's sacred, where it's sacred and it doesn't get diminished or put in the gutter, or relegated to some other corner or hidden away. Who's trying to hide you? Who's trying to hide what you have? Okay. How many times has that happened in your past lives? It's probably a lot if you're if it's coming up as a pattern in this life. So sacred, clearing the eyes and timelines. How do you get rid of people you might have looked at over the dinner table for 20 years? How do you do that? I mean, how do you really stop feeling so connected or affected by people? That happens through the body, through your metaphysical twin flame body. What about menstrual cycles? Okay. I think a lot of people might uh, feel mixed feelings about it where they say, well, it's part of sacred, it's part of being a woman. But does it always feel that way or does it just feel painful and weird and, you know, put you away for a week? Because there's, you know, there are no more communal huts for most people in Western society. And as the mama bear, I am here to assist with this. How do we start getting this shifted? Well, the, the news is it's already shifted. What you need to know, I have in my webinar, Divine Feminine Lovers, because people will have concerns about what about babies? What about birth? What about all my body parts, all of my female equipment? Men, what about your parts? What about the testosterone? What about headaches that you might have? What about aches, pains, pokes? What does it mean? 
what happens if you start feeling things that you can't pinpoint? You come to me and we get it determined because I am the metaphysician. So I work with the twin flame body energies and subtle bodies. I am the person who has the information on the subtle bodies. You probably really won't find much on the internet because this body that we are we have involved into and we're expanding really is very new, okay? The possibility to connect didn't even exist 20 years ago, five years ago, but you started getting ready for it, okay? Just like a boat coming in where you had to throw away anything that was heavy, you started getting ready, and it's been a real doozy for a lot of people. So I'm going to be covering several topics there, the stages of your life, mother, maiden, crown, and urinary tract infections. What do they mean? What is it doing? Why does it come up so suddenly? I'm going to be talking about some of the weird, oddball things that happen, not just for men and women or any anywhere along that sexual spectrum where you identify yourself. Now, if you're in Chicago or coming to Chicago, I am having a class, a three-day class, August 10th, 11th, and 12th in Chicago. It will be at the Spring Hill Suites over here from 9 till 3. Come and find out more. Come and really get some hands-on because this is going to be hands-on with an outline and really to lead you through. And I will be giving people a certificate uh, that they have uh, passed it after three days. So this is uh, a three-day intensive class. I also have a September 15th one-day class at Infinity Foundation. I'm going to pause some. Infinity Foundation, which is located in the northern suburbs. Oh, maybe you could see it there. Infinity Foundation. This is where I will be teaching this class. This will give you five and a half continuing education credits. Now, this is so new. I'm the only person that's uh, really invited here to uh, teach this. It's the first of many classes. And there is also a webinar that is a pre recorded one that you will find very helpful. It is called The Sensual Lover. Now, that one, while we use the word sensual, what does that imply? That implies passion. That implies the love at the level where it's, it's very languid and sensuous and of the senses. How do you be so into each other that you are able to feel things? Okay? It is through your body, and your body will want to be only with each other. So this is why sometimes other people will feel like they're friction. They feel like they're interference. Your body doesn't really want anyone else around. And yet, you're still going to live here. How do you find the harmony and balance with that and with each other? Okay, how do you live in the world and not let it affect you? It's through your body. I know the way I've been living it. I started this by doing body work. I've been doing body work with people since I was 19. Now, that was on a part-time basis. In um, 2006, I started in earnest, and I used to do heart chakra activation workshops. And then it was time for me to learn more. Okay, so the way I really started is through the body. You do learn much about the body through the body. Other things can't really teach you about that. So, you know, crystals help the body, but they won't really teach you about the connection with the twin flame. They will be a tool. And they are a useful tool because they are a part of the elemental plane that you're connected to. However, what goes beyond that? Come and find out. Come and find out in my Sensual Lover webinar. 
Have you had trouble breathing? Have you had tightness here? Have you felt a complete sense of overwhelm? Come to me and find out how to get it shifted. Either join my online class, my in-person class, or this one here, The Sensual Lover, which is intended to help you with that, or have a one-on-one -on -one session with me. I do readings, okay? And every single reading that I've done for approximately the past something like uh, six years, I have provided people with material from my webinars and included in that. Not everyone has been able to really understand it. However, I have done that, okay? Because that's how much I feel and that's how much I want people to be together with their lover, okay? So it goes beyond a reading. This is not a psychic reading. Most psychic readings deal with the mind and sometimes you get, people can, people can pick up your mental thoughts. I can pick up mental thoughts, but I prefer to read the heart. That is what I do. So when I do a reading, I am reading the heart, not people's minds, not even what they want or wish, but I read the heart where things need to shift and get unblocked, okay? Because the heart, it's always been that way for me. And my heart chakra activations in the workshops I did, when I would touch someone, I would feel their abandonment issues start to leave. So I'm a transmuter. I help get that shifted, okay? We helped. What I do is I help to get this stuff moving so that whatever has hurt you, harmed you, diminished you, put you in the side, stolen from you, it can start getting moving. I also do body work, and I have several sessions that I do online over the Internet to help you and to get things moving. Because the health and well-being is... Of course, your body where you do want to kiss and hug each other and feel each other. But mostly, it is your life. This is your new life. And your life deserves you. You deserve good food. You deserve health care. You deserve peace. You deserve harmony. You deserve some good friends and the people around you that care about you. A lot of people struggle with that because they say, what about this? I came through this kind of background or what about that? It can all be shifted. That's the beautiful thing about love is we're not doing this with weapons. There's, you know, while a lot of people will say, well, I never really use weapons. If you're doing psychic defense, that amounts to the same thing. You have to do it with love. And you have to do it through your body. Your twin flame, shared subtle bodies, transcend you through your open channels. Okay? That's what you need to learn about your subtle bodies and getting the channels open. And to make this real easy for you, you do this through a series of channel opening movements and twin flame breath. That is what I am the innovator of. And it works for me. It's working for people. I'm having great results with it. And this is why I say it goes beyond reading because having someone say, yes, it is. Yes, it isn't. Okay. You need to take that beyond where you can become the sensual lovers again. The passion that you want. Okay. Passion. How do you retard the aging process? How do you heal from some of the things that really need healing? Like old injuries. And come and find out, okay, so this is real love, real passion, and yes, the feminine is a part of it, and the masculine is too, okay, everything's being equaled up here. So I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks so much for watching. The links are below. You can reach out to me at twinflamesmerge at gmail.com or www.twinflamesmerge.com where the information is on my website. Thanks so much. And remember, you're here for real love. Bye.